Welcome to Truth Talks, brought to you by South African author, pastor and theologian Dr. Christopher Pepler. In this series, Dr. Pepler speaks about revival. What is true revival? How do we recognize it and what impact does it have on the church, the community and the world at large? Kerry Boerta, head of Pleiades Media, chats to him about his views. Chris, a lot of people have different ideas about what revival is. What do you say revival is? Kerry, some people differentiate between awakenings and revival, and they say awakenings is when people en masse start to get saved, and revival is when the church gets revitalized. I actually think it's the same thing. So for me, revival is when, when God comes in supernatural power and unction to a church or to a region. And he comes miraculously. He comes and he brings his gifts. He comes and brings repentance. He comes and brings salvation. But the salvation, the awakening part, normally happens as a result of the church being revived. So I would define revival as when God comes in power. How do we know what is true revival? Well, it's a pity that that question has to be answered. But the sad truth is that there's a lot of stuff around, particularly in our day, that masquerades as revival. But it actually isn't. Now, Jesus said that a tree is known by its fruit. The problem is, the fruit of so-called revivals are often only obvious fairly long after the event. And that makes it confusing at the time. Marks of true revival are a genuine sense of God's holiness, a genuine repentance in the hearts of people, a lack of showmanship. In fact, in times of revival, sometimes there are key people who play a key role, a pivotal role, but they don't take the limelight. They're not always up front. They're not showmen. There's no smoke and mirrors in a true revival. There's no manipulation of crowds or trying to engage the emotions. God comes with his supernatural presence and the effects are obvious to everybody who experiences it. What are the characteristics of the Church of Acts? Can we take any cues on revival from there? Yeah, that's a great question because I suppose if we really had to hone a definition of revival right down to its essence, revival would be a return of the Church to its condition in the early times in Acts. So if we look into the Church of Acts, the first thing that happened is that it was born supernaturally. The Holy Spirit came in a like a great and mighty rushing wind and tongues of fire and 120 people were filled with the Spirit and they rushed out and they started to extol and praise God in languages which were recognizable to the crowds and the, and the crowds flocked to them. Peter stood up, preached the gospel and 3,000 people were saved. So already there are two great characteristics of revival there. First of all, the supernatural presence of God, the anointing. Two, the result of that which was people getting saved then directly after that it describes how the church operated and the church showed that they were devoted to the christ-centered teaching of the apostles they were devoted to prayer those are another two great characteristics of revival a real passion for the word of god and a passion for the presence of god in prayer they met together. Their fellowship was rich. They were meeting together in large groups and in small groups. They had fellowship and broke bread and had meals together. They cared for every single person who had a need. Nobody went hungry. Nobody went without clothes at those times. These are characteristics of revival. The supernatural presence of God, devotion to the fellowship, devotion to the teachings, devotion to prayer, supernatural signs and wonders. Many people were healed and great signs were done the fellowship of the people in caring for each other and the impact that that then had on the society around them. Thanks for listening to Truth Talks from the Truth is the Word ministry. Visit Dr. Pepler's blog on truthisthewordblog.blogspot.com to share your views on revival or read up on related topics and purchase one of Dr. Pepler's books. Thanks for being with us and remember, Truth Talks.